What is up? <clears throat> what is up? All right, time for the daily the daily log once again. Today is uh, Saturday. The oh no, today today was Friday the sixth because um, you know Friday the sixth because I'm doing this at midnight because I don't anybody to go to bed and I'm gonna tell you all about my day and we got about twenty minutes. And today, so we're unscripted and we're uncut, but we're not unedited today. And we're shirtless again, because the last one got more views than the, the very first one where I was shirtless, got more views than the one where I wasn't, so I'm shirtless. Also, I got like an English teacher poetic reason for it. And that is because like, if I'm shirtless, I'm more like vulnerable. And this is all about being like straight up with my, straight up with my emotions and all that. Like about how my day actually, when I am wearing pants though, I promise. So anyways, let's go. So. Um, yeah, so, uh, but as I already say, I'm shirtless, I'm more vulnerable, so it's all of emotions. I think I already said that. So, let's go through my day. And also, let's set our 20 minutes. Let's go pow, pow, pow. All right, 20 minutes, go in. Let's go. So, today I woke up, uh, it was a school day. Um, so I woke up pretty early. I think I woke up at like 6 or 7. I was actually late enough to school where I had to walk into class. I, um... You know, I was late enough to school, I had to walk into class, uh, like I had to sign into the office and all that. I don't know if your school does that, but mine only does if I had to sign into the office. I went in, uh, it was Spanish class in my first period, Spanish class always kind of sucks. Uh, I just went throughout my day, it was a very normal school day. I was looking forward to the end of the day though, because we had a theater rehearsal, which was a lot of fun, you know. Theater rehearsal, a lot of fun. It was cool, we ran through the entire first act. Um, I, play, I play a butler in the theater show, and I had a butler tray taped to my arm, so it was Captain Perkins, because the name of the butler is Perkins, and everyone got really annoyed with me, because I wasted stage tape, which is fair enough, you know? Sometimes, I don't know what my hair is doing, but sometimes people get annoyed with me. That's how it's gonna be, you know, brother. Um, anyways, let me sit more comfortably. Sitting comfortable, it's okay. Um, but yeah, so people get annoyed with me, that's the way it is, you know? But, that's okay. So I went to the theater, very normal school day, Sort of normal theater. It was very funny. We practiced a bit a few times. It's a bit where I get water tossed on me. It's very funny. Uh, it's a comedy play that we're doing. We're doing a play that goes wrong. Um, and I am Perkins, aka Dennis, aka the Butler. So it's super cool. And it's super exciting. And I'm really, I'm really actually honestly enjoying it. Enjoying being that character. Enjoying playing through it, you know. Today was a productive day in theater. We ran the whole first act. It was a lot of fun. I personally enjoyed it a lot. Um... Yeah, it's just, it's, it's a good character. You know, I don't know if it's the character I wanted. I kind of wanted Max originally, but my buddy got that, and he really wanted it too. So I can't blame him, and I can't blame them for picking him, because he's definitely a very good choice. You know, because he really wanted it. You know, he was working really hard, and I'm, pr I'm proud of him for it. Um, what else is there? But after theater, that's where the fun stuff started. I actually got to lift. I got to lift today, and I got to work out. However... So I worked out for a good while, I started with legs, and then I went, and I started to do arms. No, I did legs and shoulders, I did supersets, so I switched between, a lot of fun. Um, and if you want, I'll make a more detailed video about how to work out better, how to do supersets, if you want. Um, because this is just one of our normal log videos, but you know, once once we go through the log videos, if I have more time, I'll start doing other stuff too. But, uh, so this is Frederick's Corner. I am Frederick, it's my corner. I will be doing all sorts of things in my corner my corner so anyways uh but unfortunately after i did arms and after i did shoulders and legs I started to do arms and the ymca where i lift closes at seven on fridays and normally they close at nine so they kind of kicked me out and there's this like playground sort of near sort of near the um sort of near like the ymca and so i went there and i did my tricep dips and my chin ups you know and all that on the playground and we're actually going to cut to that now what i was doing because i got to record just a little bit of it so this is why this video is not unedited, so let's cut to it now. The gym closed on me. I work out at a YMCA, and I didn't realize they close at like 7 on a Friday, which stinks. So now we're working out in this fun little playground setup they got here. I got my stuff right there. And we're going to be we're gonna be lifting here until, until I'm done, because I just got triceps and biceps left to do. And I'm already pretty much done with triceps. I think I can keep doing... I've been doing dips on on these little doodads right here. Uh, and I'm gonna do uh, chin-ups. So, till, till, kind of till failure. I also got lower abs to do, but I'm done with that. Because I did three three sets. Um, and I mean, normally I do more, but that's, that's as much as we're gonna get right now. Cut to time-lapse of me lifting. 
What is up? I'm recording this voiceover way later. Here I'm doing some tricep dips, some leg lifts. Over here now I'm doing some chin ups, chin ups, some leg lifts. I'm doing abs and biceps and triceps on this. And I took my shirt off for some reason. I think I got too warm. And now I'm shirtless. I'm doing I'm doing more of this. I'm just kind of yapping. It's pretty epic. I work out for quite a while on this video actually. So we today we're just doing arms, lower abs. So that that's what we ended up doing out here. Uh, I know I did legs before that. Um, and I'm finishing it off with some diamond push-ups for my triceps. Oh, and also leg lifts. All right, I hope you enjoyed that little section. Um, I'll probably narrate what I was doing. I'll go over it with a voiceover uh, and, like, say what I'm doing. I will disclaim that I'm already... It's disclaimer word. Disclaimer. I was already a little weak, like, a little tired out when I did that because I'd already lifted at the gym a bunch and the gym closed on me. But I've been meaning to get more into calisthenics exercises anyways, and so, like, I'm feeling good about it. Feeling good about me. I did a bunch. You saw me do a bunch. Here's how we're looking. My abs are flexed. This is what it looks like relaxed. So just, you know, abs relaxed, abs flexed. We were working biceps and triceps primarily today. So here's what those look like. And then we were also working the lower abs. That's what the leg lifts were for. They look silly, but they totally work. So anyways, uh, back to in my room me now. Uh, cause I gotta get back cause my phone's at like 5%. Anyways, so we're back. Now that you've seen that, I don't know, that's the lifting I got to do. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I already worked out of the Y, but then I worked out there. My phone was really low, so I didn't need to work out for as long as I'd like to. But I think it was pretty productive. I got a time lapse in there. That was pretty cool. I've been I've been working on my editing. You know, I'm gonna work on it more. We're gonna get these videos. I just I said they were unedited at first, which they were at first. But I think we're gonna get them a lot smoother, a lot nicer. And what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and implement little clips throughout my day of what I'm talking about, maybe pictures, uh, so that I can kind of give you guys like a visual aid. Maybe make the videos a little more engaging. And also, it'll help me remember, because I'm doing these as a log for myself, it'll help me remember what I did and, like, how I did it. You know what I mean? Like, it'll help me remember what I'm really talking about. So, for example, if we, if I do one of these on a day where I'm on, like, a big trip, like, somewhere, I'll take a bunch of pictures. Like, tomorrow, a marching band competition, I'm going to try and record the marching band competition and record some of the shows, record our show, maybe, maybe no promises. And then that way, when I get back, if I have time to do a log, which I might, because it'll be really late, I'll probably do one tomorrow, because I don't have time to do one yesterday, but I'll probably have time to do one tomorrow. If I do a log it'll be real nice because then I'll, I'll be able to implement some clips in there of what the day was actually like and it'll be able to like really show you how it goes, you know? But until then, we only got the one clip today. I'm excited though because my different competitions are really fun because I get to like see my friends and everything. It's always a good time. I get to hang out with my buddies and hopefully the show's going to go well because one thing I noticed is that uh, we really had trouble with the, 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 so we let the eighth graders into our marching band, like the, because we're high schoolers, we let the eighth graders, which is the toppest middle schoolers, you know, highest grade of middle schoolers, we let them into our marching band, and sometimes they're not locked in, sometimes they're not doing great, and I'd like if they were doing better, you know, I'd really, it'd really make me happy, I'd be, I'd be glad if the show went better, but some people I do think take it a little too seriously, and I, those people, or they're alright, they're good people, but like, sometimes I think they take it too seriously, because the whole point of marching band, pardon me, then any extracurricular, you know, has to be fun, um, it, and, and if you take it way, way too seriously, you kind of take the fun out of it. But on the other hand, it's important to take it seriously sometimes because you want it to be a good show. I do hope we get some points this year. Normally, my school has a tendency to just like not win anything at all ever, and so uh, hopefully we win something. Even when I did tennis, when I do whatever, any any competition, we don't tend to win. But that's okay. I believe in us. I'm all itchy. Um, anyways, you're doing well. Also, if you watch this far, five, six, whatever minutes into the video and you don't know what's going on, click on my channel and go back, because I've been doing these in the very first one I explain it. This is uh, log number three. I'm gonna say the date, log number three. I sort of, I said August 6th, I think. Uh, log, uh, Frederick's log, uh, August 6th, Frederick's 20 minutes, whatever. It'll be in the, in the title, in the thumbnail. Thumbnail will probably be me like flexing or something. Um, you know, it'll be pretty epic. Uh, probably not, it might just be me in my room like it normally is, but you know. It's good. We get to hang out. We get to have a little parasocial, parasocial hangout time, you know? You get to get to know me a little better. I'll get to know you better if you leave a comment. I think the comments are so cool. I don't get them a ton, but I, every time I get one, I do, in fact, read it. So they're really cool, really fun to do. Uh, really fun to, like, go through, you know? I think it's a totally interesting. Uh, you can, like, interact with people like that, you know? It's such a it's so fun. You get, you get to have a little parasocial relationship with the entire internet, you know? Subscribe, too. I don't know. Watch these. You get to see me change. You get to see me progress through life. I do. I'm doing a journey. I try new things. I do stuff all the time. I'm all about my routine. All about my. Uh, all about my goals. You know. I believe in goals. I believe. I'm not a real religious dude. I'm actually very atheistic. 
and I, I'm, I'm very like nihilist or absurdist is actually more accurate. If you want Google uh, atheistic absurdism or absurdist atheism, whatever, it's really cool. Basically, the idea states that like there is no God, nothing matters, and everything's like kind of like sucks. But like, why should we be disappointed about that? Because it's like that means you get to make up your own purpose. You get to it's funny. You know what I mean? Like life is goobery. Like instead of being like nothing matters, like a nihilist would be like nothing matters. This is awful. You go nothing matters. Isn't that funny that uh, the nothing matters when we have the duck bill platypus, you know what I mean? Or like the, the like that, uh, I don't know, just like have a sense of humor about life. And that's what I'm all about. I'm always about a sense of humor. It's awesome. Um, I do think it's funny, these videos, if we talk about a sense of humor, is that I'm just literally just yapping. And the one got like 2,000 views. This one, the last one got like about 50 so far, 40, 50 views. And probably will get more eventually. And people like people, people, people in real life don't like when I yap a ton, you know. They don't, they're not huge fans, but you know, the internet seems to seems to seems to not mind it. Yeah, I will yap with purpose soon. I'm gonna do one of those videos. I don't. My first one's gonna be probably how to work out. I did one of those, but I want to do more in depth where I actually film myself working out. That way, it's like um, that way it's like you know, it's like more coherent. It has a goal. Uh, these are totally interesting. I was uh, something interesting has happened is. People at uh, my school have started to find this. I didn't think that would happen that quickly. Um, it happened almost immediately. Because I didn't know, walked up to me and was like, I didn't know you did YouTube. And I was like, I don't really. But, uh, like, I just kind of act like I don't really know what they're talking about because I don't know what to say. If you go to my school and you're watching this right now, brother, I don't know what to tell you. If you walk up to me and go, I didn't know you do YouTube. I don't know what to tell you, man. You're sitting here watching me sit in my room shirtless just yap at you, like, off, just, like, continuously. I could do that forever, but like, brother, I, I don't know what to tell you, I, I don't really do YouTube, I just do, I just yap continuously, I never stop, but I will record more throughout my day, by the way, so it's more, it's still yapping, but it's going to be me yapping while you watch how my day actually went, it's going to be cool, I'm going to try and whip out the, whip out the camera, whip out the phone more, try and record some more, some more content, and get it, get it up, get it in the videos, the videos will still probably be about 20 minutes, this one's going to be a little bit longer, just because of that last little tidbit of, um, last little tidbit of, uh, you know, stuff that's going to be sandwiched in between. But it'll, it'll, it's a good time. It'll be fun regardless. Maybe I'll cut it off a little early today so as to not waste your time. I'll cut it off at like 18, 19 minutes, my yapping. And then that, like, two, two to five minutes of video will make up for it pretty easily. You know, so I'm feeling good about it. Um, yeah. Uh, it sure is interesting. I wonder what you're doing right now. I don't know if you can leave a comment. Let me know. I'm talking to you. I'm talking just to myself, but I'm really talking to you right now. You you threw the camera. Leave a comment. What are you up to? You know? Don't hurt. I would love to know. I'll respond to your comment. I'll say, dude, you're so cool. Funny, it's worth like talking. We're having a conversation. Hopefully you're not responding to the screen. I'm not Dora the Explorer. You're not a three-year-old, but it's wild. I don't really have much to talk about about today because today was such a basic day. Like, I just worked out. The most eventful thing I did today was work out, but I did catch a snake. I don't know, I'll put, probably put a picture of the snake right there. Picture of the snake, move the snake right there. I caught a snake, it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't want to edit this video a ton, I'm, I just, I'm making it work for myself. But I caught a snake, it was red, uh, it pooped all on me, I didn't like that. It pooped all down my arm, it got on my shirt, it stained my nice white shirt. I'm going to try and de-stain it sooner than later, because I don't like snake poop, and I don't like when, I don't, I hate having stained clothes, because stained clothes... Oh, the worst. Sorry, I'm getting tired. I go to bed, like, right after this. Right after this, I'm gonna edit this video together a little bit, and then I'm going right to bed, because I'm tired. I got a marching band competition, I gotta be at my school at 11, which doesn't sound that early, but that means I gotta get up at, like, 9.30, because that means we gotta get there at 11. I, I need, like, maybe an hour to get ready and eat, because I gotta eat breakfast. And I gotta get ready, and I probably will mess around a little bit. I'll probably look up, end up looking at my phone like I always do. Just a little bit, you know? And that's okay. You know, we live, we live, we we, pers we persevere through things. You know, we keep going. I believe in you. That's one thing I'm all about, is like, life is about consistency. I've always joked life is like punching a brick wall. You know what I mean? It's like, if you run up to that brick wall and you punch that brick wall just as hard as you can all at once, it's like, it doesn't matter because you like, um, you punch that brick wall and you see the brick wall and nothing changes. But if you, every single day, you walk up and you flick the brick wall, or maybe you walk up and you hit it like 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 that, just like kind of gently. In like a year, you'll have gone partially through the brick wall, and it's way more than if, if the three days that you run up and punch it as you can. 
If you do that, you might end up breaking your 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 knuckle or your wrist actually, and it's that's just like life. You go at life, you run uh, three three times a year. You run at life as hard as you can. You punch life, figuratively speaking. You try as hard as you can. That won't get you anywhere. But if every single day you just flick life, maybe you hit it a little bit. The harder you can consistently hit it, the better. You know, that's with working out. That's with practicing your instrument. That's with schoolwork. That's with every single thing. You know, it's all about it's all about consistency. It's all about really pushing it. You know, pushing yourself. But every single day, it's all about every day. You know, um, I will say I'm bored, and this is boring, and I'm just yapping. I see these in the corner of my room. I don't know if you can hear it. They're pan pipes. Sure trying. I don't know how anyone plays these. And we got I got them in Costa Rica. They're pretty fun. Pan pipes are fun. They got Do Re Mi Fa Si La Ti Do on the inside. But um I don't really know what that means. I do music, but I don't do that. I could, if it had like A B C D G sharp G A whatever, I could read that. But I don't I don't know what to do with Do Re, do, do, re Mi Fa So. I should have my family's asleep. I should put this up. I don't want to get in massive, huge trouble. But it's all over in Costa Rica. You can see this is Costa Rica on it. Shoot. No, you can't see. There you go. Costa Rica on it. That's pretty cool. I went to Costa Rica over the summer. I really liked it. That was a fun place. I kind of, I, I could see like moving there someday. Maybe like when I retire in like 60 years or whatever. Because that'd be awesome. Uh, maybe 50 years. I don't know when people retire. Uh, I'm still in high school. But yeah, because that's my backup plan, honestly. Like if like my current plan for my life is to become like an airline pilot. Fun fact about me, I want to be an airline pilot. I want to live with my boyfriend, you know, I want to marry him. We're going to be husbands. It's going to be awesome. But um, if none of that works out, if I fail pilot school and my boyfriend leaves me, I'm just going to go be a, a hobo in somewhere really tropical. That sounds awesome, you know. I like fantasize about that a lot. Not being broken up with by my boyfriend, actually, but like like an alternate life, like an alternate, because I really love my boyfriend. I don't want to be broken up with by him. Uh, I really love him. I'd rather, I'd rather option one. I'd rather the life where I'd go marry him and be pilot. But I like to like fantasize about what it'd be like to be like a hobo. You know what I mean? Like riding the rails, like uh, maybe we're just walking, you know what I mean, in any direction. Maybe I'm a hobo with a van instead of just like a normal hobo. I'd have like, you know, I'd wear like, I'd get like one really nice outfit, but then just like let it get beat up. So like I look like a true hobo, you know, like with a, with a, with a top hat maybe. And I'd have like a button up and a tie. I'd be such a rad hobo. And you know what I'd do is the entire time I was a hobo, I'd train calisthenics. So I'd be like the most agile. Like I'd, and then I'd fight other hobos. And like, just like, dude, that's what I fan. That's what I fantasize about while I go to sleep, or like if I'm really bored in class, because like being like a fighting hobo. You know what I mean? I don't ever. I don't think I truly want that for my life. You know what I mean? But it's nice to know the options always there. You know, like if if, if everything really really goes awful. It's so like my biggest fear is probably that my, my life goes off the rails. Like my boyfriend breaks up with me. That's probably my biggest fear right now is that that I fail all my classes. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm really scared of failure. Like I, I really try hard with my grades. And if, if that happens, if I fail on my classes. Cause like, well, I always, my always thought is like, at least my boyfriend will be there for me, you know, cause he makes me really happy. That's the other thing that makes me happy in life. Other than being like really smart and cool. Um, but if he let me do, oh my God, I'd be destroyed. So my backup plan is to be a hobo after I get over the heartbreak of failing everything and being like a loser, you know what I mean? But I don't want that. I don't really, I don't want that at all. I don't want to make it sound like I don't like my life, I like my plan. I really love my plan, but my backup plan is hobo. That's if everything goes really bad. That's if everything goes awful. You know, maybe, maybe if like I get accused for a crime I didn't commit and I'm wanted by the government because they're not going to find me if I'm a hobo. Hobos are ignored, you know what I mean? I've ever seen anyone really give a darn about like the homeless it's really sad honestly but hobos are just ignored so i'd just be a hobo first thing i do probably is like cut my hair or something so no one recognized me or i'd grow it out really long well i know i cut it and then i let it grow all the way out and i have like a beard even though I, I have like a little goatee right now you can kind of see but you know i'd be older so i'd have a beard i have like a long hobo beard uh, i'd eat beans and stuff from like a can it'd be so awesome i'd love to be like a a hobo maybe but you know Maybe I don't, maybe it doesn't have to be a backup plan because like it is a backup plan, but I don't really want to know if I want to live as a hobo forever. It's like maybe right now I could like become, not right now, but like after I graduate high school or something, I could become a hobo like 
temporarily with my like boyfriend, maybe some of my friends. Like we could be like a hobo clan, like a hobo clan, like a hobo gang, you know. But not a gang like a criminal gang, but like a like a group of friends who are hobos. I really like that idea. And I just realized we're almost we're, our time's almost up because I just yapped about hobos for like 10, 20 minutes. So it's so cool though, you know. I don't know if you are a hobo watching this, you're cool. You're living the life, man. Unless your life sucks, and I'm really sorry. I've romanticized the thought of being a hobo so so much. I hope you have a wonderful night. I'm going to be heading to bed after as soon as I edit this video. So I love all of you. Everyone on the internet, you're all wonderful. I hope you all have wonderful, wonderful lives, wonderful days. I hope you see a really beautiful sunset. Or if you get up really early for work, I hope you see a pretty sunrise tomorrow. Uh, good night. Have dreams about being a hobo.